This is a short video showing you how to test the SO2 in one sample. Beaker with stirrer bars. One sample. Peptide. Electrode sensor SO2. You write glass stand analyzer the metricals SC three hundred SO two patent reactant solution two more HCl solution and so they have a hydro uh, hydroxide one more solution first add sulfur dioxide tetrant into the glass burite Then, turn on the valve to flush the air bubbles and make sure there's no air bubbles throughout the device. Connect the Electrode with the analyzer. And turn on the analyzer. Make sure that the SO2 light is on. If it is not SO2 mode, you can press the mode to change it. And then Make sure this is SO2. Hit enter. The screen will show 0, 0.0 and precise light is on. Free SO2 testing. First, we transfer 25 milliliter of wine sample into the beaker by pipette. Note, release and depress the pipette slowly. Against the wall of the beaker to avoid turbulence and aeration.
then turn on the stir plate to medium. Add 2 ml of 2 more hydrochloric acid. Add solution slowly against the wall of the beaker to avoid turbulence and aeration. Add 2 ml of reactant solution into the sample. Dot titration. First, immerse the electrode into the solution. Make sure the sensor is immersed in the solution and not touching that stirring bar. And then lower the view right. Above the beaker. Now we start the titration. First, read in the volume on the view right and write it down. Then, we turn on the valve a little bit, adjust the flow rate, approximately one droplet per second. Once you heard the beep on the machine and the stop light is on, stop the trade and count the beep. If the beeps are gone less than 20 times, restart to add titrant to the system until you hear beep again. If there are more than 20 times beep, then this is the end of the titration. Then, read the number on the view right again. Write it down. Calculate the difference, how, many, how much volume of titrant we use to finish the titration, and then do the calculation with the equation showed on the menu. And that number is the... Now we'll finish the titration. We need to clean the electrode. Lift the electrode. Remove the sample. Dispose with the local regulation. Use a wash bottle. Rinse the the end of the electrolyte electrode inside. Make sure there's no sample left on the electrode. Then use Kim wipe 
up salt to axe water. Put it back to the stem. Air dried it. And that's the end of the titration. Now, for the total SO2 content testing, 25 milliliter of sample in the beaker. The same volume with uh, free SO2 testing. Add 10 ml of one more sodium hydroxide solution to the system. Put the beaker on stirred plate. Add solution gently. After adding base into the system, the solution will turn from white to green. Use a parafilm to cover the beaker. Set up the timer to 10 minutes. Okay, once time is up, add 8 milliliter of two more HCl to the system. The color of the sample will turn back to red, dark red again. Add 2 ml of reactant solution into the sample. Immerse the electrode into the baker. And then adjust the burite height to above the beaker. Before start the titration, read the number on the burite and then write it down. Turn on the valve of the burite. Adjust the speed of drop, droplet 
one drop per second. Stop the titration until when you hear the, the beep from the analyzer and count the beep. Okay. Continue titration until you hear the beep from uh, from the analyzer. If the beep is less than twenty times, and stop. Add more. Continue your titration until you hear more than twenty beeps. Now it's the end of the titration. You need to read the number on the view right and write it down to calculate calculate the difference between the first number and the second number. That's the volume of the titrant commute consumed for the for the whole titration, and then calculate with the same equation here. The result is in ppm. That's the total SO2 content in one sample.